Goody, goody, y'all. Goody, goody, y'all. Ah, 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 ah. Goody, goody, y'all. Goody, goody, y'all. Oh, what's good, YouTube? You know what it is. It's your boy, Rhythm and Smoke, back in the building. So, uh, it's a nice, beautiful Tuesday afternoon. I'm on my lunch break. Thought I'd come out here and uh, let you know what's been going on with the car. So, right now, I got, I think the last video I put up, I had the, uh, I put the manifold on and the turbo on. Um, but what I forgot to do was take the compressor housing off the turbine since it didn't come pre-tapped. Uh, you got to tap it. You got to tap it for, you know, your boot, your waste gates or uh, manual boost controller or electronic boost controller. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is tapping for the waste gates, or should I say waste gates, since I'm on the old manifold, uh, the SS manifold, which is a single waste gate. So I'll be tapping for the waste gate and uh, electronic boost controller will go in the middle of that. So that's what I'll be doing um, for that. So right now, let me show you what I got going on over here. All right, so here's the uh, inner workings of the GTX 3076R Gen 2 turbine. I don't think I had the um, the intercooler pipings uh, bolted up the last time in the last video I, uh, I put up. So this is, you know, I've been working on that a little bit. Uh, this is the intake pipe that goes on the housing, uh, the compressor housing that's sitting over there on the floor. Uh, uh, so it, it feeds out into the front of the tire Obviously, it's not going to be leaning down like that once it bolted back up to the uh, compressor housing. But that's the that's the end of workings. Let's move over here to the compressor housing. You can see <clears throat> I was I was looking around for a good spot to tap the uh, housing, and I decided to settle on this spot right here. Uh, looks like a good spot to put the put the fitting on there. So I'm going to be drilling a hole right through there so we can get uh get our reading for the electronic boost controller but before we can get any work going on this compressor housing we got to get the actual necessary tool to make sure our thread pitch is just right so what we're going to do is hop in the a6 roll on over to the store there pick up a 1 8 mpt tap so we can get the right thread pitch and have our fitting fit just right so let's roll Before we get in there, we got to make sure we properly protect it. You know what I'm saying? So the bug going around, you don't want to catch the bug out here while you're doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to, we're trying to stay safe. So make sure y'all being safe out there too. So we're going to get strapped up. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to look like no mental patient or something like that. You know what I'm saying? A hospital patient. So this is how we doing it. This is how we're going to do it right here. Yeah. I think we ready? We ready? Bet. Okay, guys. You can see. Got it nice drilled out. You see the, I don't know if it's kind of focused, there we go. Uh, the threads are created by the MPT um, tap. So here's the moment of truth. Got our fitting right here. Get that nice in there. And success. Yeah. Nice and tapped. And ready to make some boost. All right, guys. Well, that's our video for today. I'm going to finish getting the uh, compressor housing nice and tightened up. Make sure it's clocked and rotated just right so everything fits and lines up properly. Um, in the next video, we're going to have the wastegate and the blow-off valve installed with the vacuum lines routed up. Um, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But until then, keep the shiny side up. Rubber side down. Peace.